What's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy Rips, aka your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Ooh, we mama do I have a video for y'all today. Um, this video is kind of late. I uh, should upload it when it drops, but it's from Casual Geographic. It says, How do animals have fun? Warning, very wholesome. Uh, I'm not gonna make this intro too long because, guys, I'm in a rush again, but I'm getting you guys a video. Um, before we get in the video, be sure to leave a like for your boy, subscribe to the channel if you guys have already, and put on that post in the description bell so you guys don't miss any uploads going crazy on this channel i might have something up uploaded for you guys tomorrow i know i missed somewhat of this week but i'm still consistent as it is but enough of your time enough wasting your time let's get into the shit all right guys so we got the video right here how do animals have fun warning wholesome full screen this shit let's go hey hey mine goes all the way up make sure my obs is good we good guys good morning good morning all right, everything's good, my boys. Let's go. How adorable, bro. Everybody has a different playing style. <laughs> Fun. F is for friends who do Dude's stuff together. together. U, U is, is for you and, and me. N is for it's anywhere, anywhere at any time at all. And I appreciate how that song spells out fire and not fun, and we all just collectively accepted that. But fun isn't just a human construct that man, or a talking sponge, invented. Nah, plenty of animals have ways of having a good time. Take wolves for example. Wolves are social animals, so it makes sense that they'd use play to strengthen bonds in the pack. Wolves in the wild will do things like play tug of war, or try to get others to chase them. And it's not nice. just the pups doing it, the adults get in on it too. They even have a specific way of inviting others to play. A play bow is like the wolf version of a friend request, and it's a signal that they want others to get in on the game. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, play bow in front of your dog and watch how fast you get his undivided. That's dead how it works, because bro. Because dogs are all about play. It's why stronger dogs will actively this hold back and restrain no, themselves just to keep their playmates <laughs> in the games going. It's called self handicapping, and you'll often see it with male puppies letting physically weaker female puppies win. Look at my dog, they know what guys. they're doing. My they boy know. Goku. And if you've ever had a girlfriend, you Look do too. I'll tell so you what, adorable. coyotes sure do. But adult right, wolves rarely self handicap because they rarely nerf themselves I said, on dogs. Purpose. Come here. I'll tell please. you one thing dogs did get from wolves <laughs> fetch. That's right, we didn't come up with that. In an experiment in Stockholm University in Sweden, researchers hand raised a litter of puppies, making sure to get them comfortable with their presence, but not playing with them. And at eight weeks old, they brought in a person the wolf pups had never seen before to administer a series of tests. One of those tests involved tossing a tennis ball, and to the shock of the scientists, some of the wolf pups actually retrieved the ball and returned it to them. Nice. Remember, we're talking about wolves here. Wolves that hadn't been trained or motivated to do that, they basically just freestyled the game of fetch. Not all the wolf pups did this, but understanding human cues was thought to be a domestic dog thing, so realistically none of them should have. We didn't teach dogs fetch, it was already programmed into their software. But if we didn't teach them, who did? Who did? Well, God? maybe ravens, because we've already talked about the wolf-raven relationship arc. But ravens have been seen seemingly playing with specific puppies in the pack. They'll play tug of war with sticks. The ravens will do things like tease them to get the wolf pups to chase after them. And sometimes the ravens will even fly over them with sticks to get them to jump. These childhood games are probably how, how ravens cute, and wolves bro. can form legitimate emotional bonds. And it actually makes a lot of sense that this kind of thing would happen, since wolves are social pack animals and ravens are one of the most playful things with wings while also having the intelligence of a small child. Because you're gonna see, the smarter an animal is, the more playful they usually are. And that's because play typically comes down to two things, manipulating the objects around you and interacting with others. Two things that do require intelligence. Like take bees, probably the most intelligent new social insect out there. Well, in an experiment with the Queen Mary bro. University in London, scientists a setup where bees had a choice take a path leading directly to food or explore a path with an obstacle course of tiny wooden balls and to add to that one side had wooden balls that were fixed in place while the others were loose and could be rolled around not only did every bee choose the ball path every single one wow. tried rolling a ball at least once some of the bees even went right back after eventually stopping for food and to make it even more interesting it was actually the juvenile bees that spent the most time ball rolling so yeah that's actually how we found out bees can play but the question is, what other insects can? Literally, well, we can probably like, rule out ants, and here's why. It's not because they're not smart enough to goof off small, and play right? games. It's because they probably get murked by the queen before they have enough time to figure it out. Because an ant colony runs like an efficient engine, and any part not doing their part gets turned into past tense. Damn, niggas can't have no fun, bro. Crazy cutthroat. Like, to the point where they'll actively sabotage their own colony just to keep themselves higher in power. The trade-off is, the ant colony is a militia that's capable of cutting down animals hundreds of times their size. In a game like the ant's underground kingdom, you get to personally watch an ant uh. colony 
only no, love we're not watching no 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 spiders and even flex on lizards y'all know we don't do these ads no 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 doesn't mean we don't do ads on the ships but corvids like crows and ravens definitely are and it goes way beyond weaponizing wolves because as cute as this may be and it really is you could argue that i'm sorry if y'all wasn't to the answer i'm not watching this a raven using a plastic lid as a sled to slide down snowy hills and then you have this raven sliding down the roof of a public library or at least trying to and they have nothing to gain from doing this this is unrewarded play and basically it means yeah they're not doing it for survival or anything that they're, they're just, just doing bored. it to have a good time yeah i wasn't kidding for a bird whose group name is an unkindness ravens and really corvids in general are probably the most playful birds on the planet it's why you'll see them actively mess with other animals just for the memes even if it means instigating a literal cat fight for their own entertainment so next time oh, you're wondering shit, how animals have fun, i want you to remember <laughs> this snowboarding crow or you can think of this self tobogganing otter river nah. otters and yellow have been seen getting a running start and snow surfing down icy slopes now first scientists just figured it was their way of getting around that theory fell apart when they watched the river otters run back my bad the, the like video is not loud my bad back face. down and that goes back to unrewarded play because the otters don't gain anything but a good time and Shit. fomo for otters is a real thing because you're more likely to see them sliding as a group than just solo and like ravens you can almost see how intelligence and playfulness almost goes hand in hand especially since otters are considered to be the most intelligent of all mustelids being part of the special class of animals that are able to use tools to the point where river otters will seem to juggle rocks when they get excited no like <laughs> seriously we, we had no idea why they were doing this until researchers at a zoo noticed they started juggling rocks more when it got closer to their feeding time we still don't know exactly what it is about food that makes otters start juggling rocks but sometimes you need to just take what a moment to stop lost? asking why just to enjoy what's in front of That's you so cute, like, though. why do crocodiles like the color pink because according to anecdotal observations crocodilians seem to have a pink preference favoring tossing why? around small objects that look like the result of a red white affair it's why the prehistoric predator that's been terrorizing the planet for hundreds of millions of years can be seen picking pink flowers with its jaws. Crocs apparently have other ways of having fun. Let me They'll see take this turns shit. going down natural water slides and swim right back up and do it again. They'll give each other piggyback rides, just cuz. And there's even a story where animal behavior expert Vladimir Diné claimed to witness an alligator seemingly play with a group of river otters in Big Cypress in Florida because Florida. You know, I'm not Florida. even kidding. He has yeah, a whole Florida, play behavior in Crocodilians. Hell no. And he talks about watching river otters regularly visit one specific gator and mess with him by getting close to him, nipping at his tail, and even splashing water on his head. Most gators would respond to this by just submerging, but this one gator played along by lunging at the otters. I know what you're probably thinking. And to that, I give you this. At one point, one of the otters slipped down the bank and was immediately grabbed by the gator. But That's instead of I'm making saying. an example out of it, the prehistoric merc machine just released it perfectly unharmed. It was like a game that both of them were in on. And unlike wolves and ravens, gators and otters have legitimate beef in some parts. But like I said, sometimes you need to forget about Fuck the why them and gators, just enjoy bro. what. And what happened was, these games went on for a couple days until the marsh eventually dried up and the alligators and otters both moved on. That's not the only example of crocodilians at play. That just happens to be the best one I got. Another time was when a gator found a football in his swamp and instead of easily popping it, it seemed to toy with it by grabbing it with his jaws and tossing it around. You know, I could 100% use this to make a Florida Gators joke, but at this point, I think it would be low-hanging fruit. Damn, but crocodiles bro. and alligators being playful goes right in line with the intelligence point I made earlier. Despite having a brain in the weight class of a walnut, crocodilians are much more intelligent than they get credit for. Unlike dolphins, who get all of the credit for it. Now, you probably know dolphins like dolphins to have fun. So cute, the problem man. is, most of their pastimes will probably get this video age-restricted with the quickness. Like, for example, when two Amazon River dolphins were seen playing with a Benny Anaconda. I put playing in quotes because both dolphins Yo. were visibly aroused and a snake ended up flatlining likely to drowning and you oh, know knowing what i know shit. about dolphins that's probably what got them excited because most dolphin fun comes at someone's expense i can repeat that same sentence without the fun and it'd still be accurate i give you exhibit a but dolphins can have fun in safer work ways too they'll take turns chasing each other in games that can last hours they'll find random objects to carry around and even play catch with oh and a little fun fact for you one of a dolphin's favorite things to play with includes sargassum seaweed, seaweed. researchers actually watched dolphins in the bahamas play a kind of keep away game with the seaweed but the best part was the dolphins were used to being around humans and eventually they invited the researchers to play with them and no amount of scientific integrity would stop any of us from saying no Dolphins have also been seen surfing the bow waves produced by ships sometimes for miles on end. It's not like they just do it to save energy. A group of spinner dolphins actually memorized the path scientists on a boat would take. So every morning the spinner dolphins would show up and ride the bow wave as the scientists traveled to their site. That's the crazy, bro. Them, but then return and do the exact same thing when the scientists started heading back. So yeah, it's really no surprise that the smartest thing in the ocean can be as big as a child because honestly, they're probably as smart as one. So smart that many believe that dolphins will purposely seek out puffer fish just to get them 
elevated. Apparently the tetrodotoxin that can discharge you from the population in minutes has something of a narcotic effect in small doses. To the point where people will swear by seeing dolphins take turns passing the puffer until they're all stuck on this product. And if dolphins joke, are humans, bro. they'd definitely be the ones huffing markers in class. By the way, you uh, really shouldn't do that. But dolphins are far from the only ones that get elevated that and elevated. It's believed it, that cats will eat grass and leaves because Zaza, they contain Zaza, folic bro. acid, which helps move oxygen Zaza, around Zaza. the yeah, Plus when they throw it up, it helps clean out their system. So it shouldn't be a surprise to see the biggest cat in America chewing on leaves. What's surprising is that it seems to put the jaguar in a trance and even induces kitten-like behavior. He's like to the point where people smacked. believe this apex predator will go out of its way to chew on leaves from the Yaji. And in doing so, they book a flight on the same plane as Joe Rogan. Scientists can't say for sure just why jaguars will go to these lengths to get zooted. Many natives will tell you that jaguars will oh, buff their perception and senses, which heightens their hunting Nah, these niggas we don't is know if the off the beam, like that, bro. Be we all know that look. That boy is gone. That if nigga your child is ever gone. Like this, you definitely give them a talking to. So it's in my non-professional opinion that jaguars will purposely get off one when they're not busy hunting for a living. Because when nothing in the jungle nigga can press you, the you can planet, afford to. Not the case for pandas, though. They got to take this just... for everybody. That doesn't stop them from being a walking viral clip every time they're on they're camera. Just clumsy, but there's bro. actually a reason why you can make an entire playlist on pandas being cute. Mother pandas usually only raise one baby at a time. If she pops out twins, then it's all good for Mary Kay, but it might be up for Ashley. For most of a young panda's life, its only playmate is its mother. So when keepers hand raise baby pandas and the baby pandas imprint on them, this is what <laughs> happens so cute, because bro. this is what they do with their actual mothers. Another thing pandas like to go viral for is their very much one-sided beef with gravity in the form Look of falling this, out trees. But like I said, a lot of animals can pack up pandas, especially when they're young, so their only option is to climb, which very much makes trees their safe haven. They climb to avoid predators. They climb to avoid other pandas. They'll even sometimes go through the process of making another panda in the trees. Trees are so important no? that young pandas instinctively love climbing. So much that many believe that the reason pandas like to hug their caretakers' legs is because they see human legs as trees and honestly can't help themselves. And while this might be fun <laughs> for them, this is actually a form of rewarded play since climbing ends up being a massive part of their life. But so does rolling around and there might be a reason for that too. Look at First this of all, panda bones are weirdly thick and heavy for their size, so the falls and tumbles they take don't hurt them nearly as much as you'd expect them to. Also, oh, pandas shit. are nearsighted, so it's possible they legitimately can't see what's in front of their faces. But many scientists <laughs> believe pandas just enjoy rolling around, like to the point where mothers will often join their cubs doing it. They're not the only bears that can be playful. Polar bears can actually be just as goofy. It's just that pandas I'm not are a lot less no likely polar bear. to Crazy. For food. Polar bears can form friendships where they eat, travel, and play together. And these relationships this can last crazy. years. Their favorite way to bond is by wrestling. And like with dogs, a stronger polar bear will often self-handicap and let the smaller bear win. And also like with dogs, polar bears have their own way of asking for permission to play too. In their case, a polar bear will move its head from side to side to initiate a friendly sparring session. These pair bonds hey, usually uh, last a summer uh, until they eventually go uh, their separate ways for the harsh winter season. But time and time again, scientists have seen the same polar bear friends reuniting after breeding season and carrying on like nothing ever happened. How cute, and honestly, bro. I feel like most adult friendships go just like that. As in, you can go months without speaking or hearing from each other, but you can also link up and go on like they never left. That's but of my course, polar bears bro. know how to have fun by themselves too. Tell me, when I get old, bro, down hills or across ice for hours that's how for no be, bro. other than I'm not that old, so basically, shit. even the biggest land predators on the planet know how to have a good time. But what about the biggest land animal, period? Well, it turns elephant? out, having fun is actually an important part of an elephant's life, and males and females are hey, different in how it. they do it. Young males love roughhousing and play fighting, which actually helps prepare them for a future of running phase for female validation. This natural playful aggression is why you'll often see young male calves chasing around other animals. Hold on, wait for it. And there it is. That's what it looks like for a baby elephant to throw a tantrum. Fun for young females <laughs> usually involves thrashing around vegetation, sticks, bones, and anything else they can wrap their trunks around. But the ultimate sign of elephant fun is something they do called the floppy run. And it's exactly what it sounds like. When elephants really get excited, they'll shake their heads from side to side, they'll let their trunks hang loose and their ears flap in the wind, and they'll just run. All while trumping. It's, like dogs it's usually zoomies, calves bro. and young teenagers that get floppy with it, but sometimes the whole herd gets involved. But considering half an elephant's time is spent in the water, then it makes sense that half their fun happens in there too. And if you've ever seen elephants playing in the water, it's actually wild how much they look like kids in a pool. There's something really satisfying about watching a 12,000 pound vibe check splashing around 12, in water like a child. Pounds, and crazy. often they'll spray water at each other or sometimes even other animals just for the sport of it. Like and in this bored. case, other animals <laughs> can very much include humans. But all this lighthearted fun might actually be crucial to their survival. You see, some studies say that the most playful elephant calves grow up to be the ones best at coping with environmental stress, which increases their chances of survival. That nigga look like Again, he about we to don't fall know if this over. is 100% true, but like I said, sometimes you need to just forget about why and just enjoy watching a baby elephant take a shower. But that's gonna do it for this video. 
I want to thank you all so much for the Damn, support bro, this year. So it cute. really does mean a lot. And best believe, I got a lot more stuff planned for 2023. Yes, for sir. Now, happy holidays. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you all in the next one. Yes, sir. Yo, hope you boys enjoyed the video. I definitely did. Um, this, was, this shit was just mad cute, bro. Like, even gangsters got heart, my nigga. That shit was cute, bro. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I should get out another video possibly tomorrow. I don't know yet. But like I said, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are already putting that post in the kitchen bubble. But your boy is signing out here. Thank you guys for supporting me. If I don't upload, happy new year. And I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. But your boy is signing out here. So I'm going to see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Man down, man down. You could get ran down, ran down. I got the bands now, bands now. She let me fuck, she a fan now. You could get hit, but it stay down. Know they be broke, but they stay loud. We don't grow up from the same ground. They all the ground for the fame now.